Round number nine and scheduled for ten. A quick check of Rich Murata's scorecard. He's got Wheeler up by two points. This is a very tough fight to score. Make yeah. no mistake about it. There are some rounds out here that are just one punch, one way or the other, going to one man or the other. There's a pretty good right hand by Wheeler, and of course, a good, uh, a good round number two and a dandy number six for Marquez when he had Wheeler rubber leg and it seemed headed for the canvas. And I, I gave the last round to Wheeler, although you could make a case for either guy, Tom. It yep. was kind of flip, almost flip of the coin deal. Thought he had a slight edge. Marquez is 22 and Wheeler's 23. Two young, good featherweights. Super Bantamweight title. There they are doing a little shadow boxing. The ultimate warrior, Daniel Saragossa, who's three times been a world champion. And the guy who took the title away from Tracy Patterson is getting a sweat worked up. There's Hector Acero Sanchez in his dressing room. They're scheduled to go 12. Ought to be a dance. And coming up right now, round number 10 of this featherweight scrap. Sanchez went down. Oh, excuse me, Marquez went down. Not so recorded by the referee Rosadilla. In the second round, why Wheeler, who's in the blue, was rubber leg. And again in the sixth, a couple of solid shots that landed, thrown by Marquez. You know, Wheeler looks a little bit the better of the two here in this tenth round, Rich. A little fresher, yeah, he's, yes. I would agree, Marquez, with his face, a little bit jaded. Yep. Still tough, still very dangerous. 
dangerous of course and perhaps the winner of this fight I don't know but Wheeler's forcing the action walking in on him you've been watching with us while you know that Marquez has the heavier hit uh, power and has uh, proved it in two rounds by scoring with some big time punches against Wheeler you know, if Wheeler wins the decision in this fight, Tom, it may be greeted with uh, oh. booing from the fans due to the fact that when Marquez won rounds, he won them big. He yep. won them very decisively. Yeah, like two and six. Yep, he looked very impressive. Wheeler came back from each and every one of those. He fought well in the third, came back very strong in the seventh. in the scoring. Wheeler's in trouble again. Yep, holding on. He got caught walking in on that, Tom. He walked right into a punch. And he's trying to hold on again. The last through round 10 gets down with the right hand. Wheeler won't let go. Wheeler's in deep trouble. Half a minute remaining. And Wheeler, smart enough and tough enough to grab and hold and he just clamped down on that left arm. And I tell you, he is rubber leg. He is that close to going down. And if he goes down, it might cost him the fight. I don't know. This round might cost him the fight. I think Marquez has got a 10-8 round here with him. What happened? What was that? I don't know. He stopped the fight? Rosadilla stopped it with about 10 seconds to go. He stopped the fight seconds to go. Doctor? I, I really... Doctor? Did he stop the fight? Did he stop the fight? With 10 seconds to go, he stopped the fight? He stopped the fight with 10 seconds to go? Oh, and look at Wheeler. He's right in front of us. Pat, can you believe that? Wheeler was in trouble, no question about it, but... With 10 seconds to go, stopping the fight? I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Look at Wheeler. I, I, I'm really shocked that that fight was stopped. I am stopped. too. I, I just don't agree with that stoppage of the fight. Marquez I fought a great 10th round. I agree more with what you say. That is unbelievable. And I'm sure Wheeler's people feel as though they're victimized. We'll be back right after this. Forum Boxing is brought to you by Beachwood Aged Budweiser, the king of beers. This Bud's for you. And by West Coast Detectives, transportation and protective services worldwide since 1922, headquartered in North Hollywood, California. Now, we've seen some weird decisions from time to time, and I'm not about to say that Marquez was a winning this fight, but with less than 10 seconds to go in a fight that we yeah. thought was very close, to have it stop because Wheeler was grabbing and holding just doesn't seem right to me, Rich Murata. No. Well, I don't think he was winning the fight, Tom, and I, I, I disagree. That is I have a lot of respect for Larry Rosadie and all the follow and all the officials, but this one I just can't agree with. Weird, weird decision. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, with the time of 2 minutes 55 seconds in round number 10, the referee stops contest. The winner by way of knockout, Juan Manuel Marquez. Now, well, Marquez gets the win, but I tell you, if I were Wheeler's people, I would demand to see the judges' cards going into that 10th round. With only five seconds left, I see no reason why this fight should have been stopped. None whatsoever. Now, Wheeler had never been knocked out in his career, and he was never down in this fight. He was hurt in the 10th round. Make no mistake about that. He was wobbling, and he was stumbling around the ring, but he was holding on. It had happened to him a couple of times before. He was in worse shape a couple of times earlier in the fight than no I think that he was in that 10th round. Rounds two and six. But nonetheless, the fight was stopped. And I think with five seconds left, that that's all, that that really is adding insult to injury. Let's go to Fernando. He's up in the ring with Marquez. Marco, 